Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, you see the new voting guys that we have, the Ericsson vote that is going to come out on Saturday, that SBC. I want to talk about that, the Firmino SBC that came out on Thursday, Rewards Day. Talk about the rewards market a little bit and also cover today what's going to happen in FIFA Ultimate Team today with Summer Heat, the second Friday of Summer Heat. It's kind of weird because Fridays are usually like the promo start day, but this promo originally started last week on a Wednesday. So that kind of makes Fridays interesting when it's not like the actual hype day of the promo. But there are some thoughts about what could go on today based on the way they priced Firmino and what they did in the game uh, with his upgrade. And also, speaking of objectives, we have an objective that is expiring today, and that is Summer Heat Kessie is going away. So I would almost expect that they might throw in another objective player today. So maybe another objective player and uh, another SBC player that we could see today. So we'll talk about that a little bit as well. But I also want to talk about this market because uh, not this squad. This is the squad that I'm going to be using to do the Mendy and Bruno objectives at the same time. But uh, the Firmino SBC is what I want to first talk about today because EA dropped this card. We knew Firmino was going to win. Some people thought Hamas was going to win just because of Jovic last week. But, you know, Brazilian Premier League and, of course, the Liverpool team winning the Premier League title uh, yesterday. That caused some market movements that we'll talk about as well. Uh, a lot of those cards did go up. But this Firmino card was just juiced a little bit less than I think people would have wanted him to be, right? We were thinking 90 plus pace. We were thinking just higher statistics all around. Only 93 rated. The dynamic is cool. The price point is for this boost, I think the price point is too high. And I originally thought this is a W, but after looking at it more and, talk, and thinking through the boost of the card, the five-star five-star is, is really the appeal here. And the fact that it is a Brazilian center attacking mid or center mid, more of an attacking center mid, uh, that is a pretty, pretty really good all-around card. 280, 286 rated squads and an 85 rated squad for this Firmino. If you're going to craft it, uh, you could craft it through like the 82 to 88 upgrade packs. It's be pretty easy to craft from those. I think these give out better than the 81 pluses, at least for me, but these go away in like two days. So that's something to kind of, you know, keep in mind. I just wish they would have juiced this card a little bit more today. And that has got some people thinking that since they didn't go all out with this Firmino today with the vote, that they might do something bigger today on Friday. It is Friday, of course. This is the normal big time day in FIFA. I Supposedly people said they ran lightning rounds on Xbox only last week on Friday. I don't think they should run lightning rounds. If you're putting old cards back into packs, that is not something that I think you should run you should run lightning rounds for, but I don't know if EA is going to do that again today or if they're not going to, but I really hope that they don't do that. What you are going to see though is probably uh there's going to be some a little bit of very slight sell-off headed into the 6 p.m content range today on friday you probably see a little bit of sell-off as we head into that uh it happened last week on friday and then friday night is when a lot of these cards will hit their peak unless ea drops something big today on friday i don't think you'll see too much of a sell-off after that it would just depend on the sbc player that does come i do feel like we'll get some sort of other sbc player uh we had the vote today for ericsson zielinski or mkhitaryan for a Serie A player um being the next uh summer heat vote and i think a lot of people picked ericsson this card could get a really nice juice uh he's got a winter refresh card already that's got some decent stats but i'm kind of pumped you know for my boy ericsson uh you know my twin basically to get himself a upgraded card on saturday so this will come on saturday the two-day wait so it looks like we're going to be getting uh you know like the the one vote's going to be on what, what would that be the vo we're going to get votes on tuesday and Thursday, and then SBCs on Thursday and Saturday for the fan favorite votes. Uh, that's what it looks like for the voting stuff for the summer heat, which is basically taken over for footies this year. So again, right now, Firmino, uh, according to Footbin, costs you around 400,000 coins. And we have to talk about SBC fodder as well, because that was one of the things going into today on Friday. Could this be a possible investment? Uh, I think it is very possible. We, we don't have any leaks right now. Stay tuned to Twitter for maybe some leaks. But uh, these high-rated golds have and special cards, actually, it's more of not as many golds now are getting cheap on the market. It's all the informs and special cards that are in packs. That's kind of the new cheap fodder that people are um, 
putting into SBCs and buying because the gold cards, a lot of the gold cards are out of packs, right? Uh, so like you don't have, um, who is my example from earlier today? I don't even know. I don't even think the Griezmann gold card is in packs. The Griezmann uh, wants to watch is it packs, I believe. Might be wrong about that. But I mean, you have some guys like, you know, Marquinhos, Thiago Silva, they have special card items that are in packs. So their gold cards are very, very expensive, which you have got like ones to watch De Young, Delaney. Those are really good SBC fodder investments. I know they're still in packs with the best of packs, but look at these cards prices. Look how much they have dropped in the past couple of days. Delaney is 22K on PlayStation. Uh, he's been high 28s all the last week. He started high before he got re-released, so that's maybe not the best example. Um, but a lot of these cards are reaching a, an SBC fodder low. 87 rated cards at 20K is pretty low. I mean, we can use Fernandinho as an example. When these 87 rateds reach low, like this is a super duper low time that was in uh, between foot birthday and during team of the season. And uh, the end of team, of the, beginning of team of the season, these SBC fodder cards got really, really low. But for most of the year, when you see 87s getting down towards 20K, you know, they see they had the potential to go all the way up to like upper 30, 40,000 coins. Even last week, uh, when the Prime Icon SBC came out for the first time, I think is what caused this spike. Fernandini was 38,000 coins. He was high 20s all of last week as well. Uh, so I would wait and see. Today, we could get an SBC, and that could cause these cards to go up a little bit more in price. But uh, you know, it could be a possible short-term uh, flip, I guess, on fodder if we got a big-time player SBC today. And that, again, is why people thought, hey, maybe they released a less hype Firmino so they could release a more hype SBC today on Friday. Are there many SBCs that could come out that would really cause this stuff to boom, though? The Icon SBC is the thing that creates the constant demand and really makes these prices go up. But we could get a short one to two bump up in price if we get somebody like an SBC uh, Usman Dembele. If they boosted an Usman Dembele card and just put him out as a summer heat player, that would be somebody that uh, a lot of people in this FIFA would go after and try to go get and would cause some market panic. So I'm not saying that's coming today. I don't have any leaks. If I guess that correctly, it's going to look insane. But um, if they get a big SBC today, you could see a bit of an influx in fodder. It is getting low, though. It is getting a bit low. Uh, in the 80, 85s are getting kind of low, too. 86s are creeping down there. 87s, 88s, it's all across the board. Some of the stuff is getting a little bit lower. And I think part of that is just due to people actually kind of leaving the game. Um, you know, I just feel like the content they're putting out is good. Yes, the Summer Heat promo is fantastic as a whole. It's honestly spectacular with everything they've done so far. But people do not have anything in their clubs. They're completely drained dry from Icon upgrade packs, from all these Summer Heat SBCs. And there's really nothing else for them to do in the game except grind objectives and play Weekend League, uh, which you do get cool rewards from Weekend League, which we saw today have a number on the market. And then uh, also you have these objectives to play for. But a lot of people have rinsed their clubs and they're kind of done with FIFA at this point. At least it seems to for me. So it's going to take a big time SBC today to really like, for, to make it be super duper hype. So I don't know what they would do for an SBC today, but I would expect an SBC and an objective to come out today in, inside of FIFA. Hopefully the objective is pretty easy, um, but that is that. The Friday content, again, it's just it's just kind of weird, right? We did have an interesting uh, daily SBC today on, on Thursday. I say as today, but Thursday, the Summer Heat voting that give you a draft token. So it looks like they're maybe trying to push some people towards draft a little bit, trying to use that Kent card and the Musa card uh, that people could have gotten as well, as well they'll be they'll be adding the James Rodriguez card and the, I forget who was in the voting, the other the third person that was in the voting with uh, James Rodriguez and Firmino, that's going to get added to draft as well. They're, they're going to keep adding those cards in. And I have to talk about Diaby and Boetius because EA changed the time that these SBCs were going to be available for. Notice it says one day, four hours. And as the time that I'm recording this video, that is early morning UK time on Saturday. So these SBCs are now, EA changed the time. They are now set to expire before the game, before the game between Mines and between Leverkusen. Originally, these were going to expire after that, but these are now going to expire bef right before the game. So you have to decide if you're going to do one SBC, if you're going to do both or neither, you have to kind of make your uh, decision. Either you're doing Diaby, you're doing Boetius, or you're doing none of them. Uh, it, to be honest with you, 
I'm kind of leaning towards doing both just for the Panini card collecting sake of things, right? Both of these cards is 95 rated, could be super dope, could be really good in game. So that is interesting and just something I thought I would point out to you dudes as well. If you're going to be watching this game on uh, on Saturday or as you're watching this video, just something to plan ahead for this weekend. Other things that are ending, I don't, uh, Rashford still has four days left. Parasitch is going to expire very soon. So I just got that SBC done. Um, I think we're doing another SBC today for real. I really think we're doing another summer heat SBC uh, today on foot. So watch out for that. But I also want to talk about the market movements uh, from rewards and again from Liverpool winning the Premier League today. This is a crazy, crazy thing that happens. A lot of times this happens during the World Cup or during the Champions League, but it happened today with Liverpool winning the Premier League as well, clinching the win in the Premier League. This Mohamed Salah card right now, 913,000 coins on the PlayStation. Take a look at his graph from uh, Thursday. He was 800K flat before rewards, kind of rose up a little bit into the day with rewards, kind of rose up in the evening a little bit more, but then he went from 830K around the time where Liverpool clinched the title and he went up over 900,000 coins, which is where he is right now. So he's up almost 120,000 coins on the day. And this happened with a lot of other Liverpool special cards as well. Some of your Mane items, your Van Dyke, is just showing that IRL football does in fact impact these games. And that is really, really cool to see, um, you know, just the, the passion for football inside of FIFA. It's dope, right? So this guy's up a bunch. If you got him, maybe you try to sell him uh, because those cards are going to be coming back into packs in one week. And that was one thing that I wanted to mention today. Six days, 14 hours until we get the best of set two going to come out in packs. So we have Lewandowski, Messi, the same cards we've haven't had in packs for the past, like what, eight days. They're going to be going out of packs and we're probably going to be seeing foot birthdays, future stars, and team of the season cards in packs um, in seven, six days, whatever. Uh, six days, 14 hours from when I'm recording this. So what is that going to be on Thursday? Next week, Thursday, uh, or Wednesday night, one of the two. That's when you're going to see a lot of these cards, team of the seasons, come back into packs. So if there is a card this weekend that you want to take the coins on, uh, if it's a Tots card, if it's a foot birthday, I would take the coins on that card this weekend. I honestly would because prices are up. Prices are going to fall even lower next week because we're just in a general general downtrend on the market anyway as we're finishing, like headed towards the end of FIFA this year. So what I would say is if you've got a TOTS card, if you've got a foot birthday card, I would look to sell that this weekend if you if it's not an end game card that's going to stay in your team for the rest of the year or you just want to take the cash, take the coins. Look to get one of those out this weekend. Look to get that out of your club. Also, maybe some future stars cards as well. Maybe some of the more expensive ones. Um, like a, I don't know, like a Holland or a Jao Felix, or maybe this, uh, this Emerson card by chance, just take a look at those cards. Cause I do think the team of the season supply is going to be big. There's going to be a lot of hype for that in a week or so when those cards come back on the game. And I think this weekend is your optimal time to sell some of those cards before we get those cards coming back into packs and, uh, and all that sort of stuff when, we, when we see that in a couple weeks. So um, again, the Ericsson card should be coming tomorrow on Saturday. The Bruno, if you guys are grinding Bruno G GLs, good luck and just keep grinding. Cause it is tough. It is tough out there grinding the Bruno and the Mendy at the same time. Let me tell you, it is tough. Some people are probably going to even focus on that over the weekend league just to try to get those cards and play weekend league with it. Um, but it's just an interesting time on FIFA ultimate team. The content is very good. Um, and today you know, th these fan vote SBCs have actually been the most expensive and um, co compared to the other SBCs we've gotten to think about it. Summer Heat SBCs, just regular ones, right? And Dombele and Perisic. Incredible value for both of those two cards. Firmino and Jovic. Jovic was like a 250 to 300,000 coin SBC. Firmino, with a less than desirable boost, is still a 400,000 coin SBC. And Dombele and Perisic were both much cheaper than both of those. So it's seeming like the the voting SBCs, the fan vote for whatever it is, uh, they are a bit more overpriced and less desirable in a sense so far. So we can see if that changes, but that's something to keep in mind down the road uh, for whatever cards get into the voting. 
and stuff like that. So keep an eye on SBC fodder today. I would expect again, an SBC, an objective, and a pack supply SBC as our content from today. Let me talk about weekend league rewards before I finish this thing off. Uh, there were some stuff that did good that did do well today, but again, it was just kind of interesting today with rewards. And as I talked about in my video last night before rewards came out, I said there's probably going to be some supply for team of the season cards because the rewards, the elite packs were 90 plus rated, and so were the red picks. And a lot of the red picks, red picks I saw today. It was a lot of SBC fodder, but there was also some really big pulls. I know multiple people that got St. Maximin Gucci headband as one of their player picks as, as reds. You know, people packed uh, red Mbappe foot birthday, Pogba foot birthday, uh, just a lot of stuff that happened today. And a lot of these cards, you know, these 93s, 94s, a lot of these cards showed up in the elite packs from what I saw today. So these guys kind of dropped and then they still bounce around because they're out of packs. Their only supply was rewards. So I did trade with these today, make a decent amount on some of these. You know, I bought these Vanda Beaks under 90K, David under 90K, Jinyak. This was bought at like 78K or something like that. This was also in the 70s. So a lot of these cards are still fluctuating. And if you want to trade over the weekend, there are plenty of, of opportunities to, to trade over the weekend because a lot of people are open listing cards. And again, like I mentioned, there could be a little bit of panic today around uh, 6 p.m. UK as we head into the content drop. People just like to panic sell cards when they think something is coming, especially if there's any Twitter leaks or talk on Twitter about a big time SPC coming. You could see some panic, uh, whether it's on cards that are in packs, kind of like these headliners are like this Varan is, or if it's some, it's just some Tots cards, right? I always look at Tots Lala. That's kind of like my gauge on the market. This guy was 350 earlier today. He's still kind of low-ish, um, 380s at the moment, but maybe if this guy tomorrow is uh, is like 350, 340,000 coins, I would still expect to rebound into the Friday night if they are meta, if they are uh, used in a lot of people's squads, French, Brazilian, Premier League because people are using that new Bruno card and the the Firmino. So just kind of watch the market today in terms of if there's panic, there could be an opportunity to buy some stuff around the content drop depending on what SBCs come out, what content comes out, and seeing that rise a little bit more into the evening. So it's going to be an interesting Friday to see what EA Sports does with the content, how it affects the market, and still there's going to be demand. So if you are somebody who's trying to flip some cards and make coins, anything that is meta, icons, out of pack special cards, they're going to fluctuate around a decent amount. Open bids are crucial. I, I tell this all the time in the summer months of foot right now when there's not as many people on the game. Yes, you can still snipe. You can use you can use filters and stuff like that. But open bids are crucial. You can catch a lot of really, really good open bids on cards at this time of the year just because there's less eyes on the market, less people trading like three, 330 for this Alberto card is really cheap. At least it was. It looks like he's still 350 though. So just kind of watch around. Cards are going to fluctuate over the weekend. There's going to be opportunities to trade and to make coins. This guy was 420K earlier today, and now he's got bids at 430. So that's kind of interesting. Cards are still fluctuating because people are still on this game and playing the weekend league. That's the main grind, I think, for a lot of people right now at the moment. But if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments down below or tell me if you're going to do Firmino or if you're grinding any of the objectives, because I know a lot of people are grinding objectives, but some people just can't be asked. And I totally understand both sides of the coin uh, right there. But it's going to be an interesting Friday. See what EA brings. If you're, enjoy if you're hyped for it, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Food Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.